And uh, I think, uh, you know, this become more popular topic in the tall building design, which is good. I mean, this is means, you know, our tall building design is looking at optimizations, looking at the future. And I think uh, a lot of, mo this morning we talk about inherent building dampings, and uh, the damping ratio is uncertain. So I think using supplemental damping system uh, going to help control the building motion, especially for low return wind events. That's one year return period and uh, 10 year return period. Uh, <clears throat> for, for supplementary damping system, uh, this, you know, as we discussed, there are a lot of code, especially in China, there's uh, the code requirement for 10 years. It's very restricted. It's like for office tower, you need 20, 25 milli G in the, for the top occupied floor. Uh, for lower, for residential, 15 milli G, and also there's the ISO criteria, and also there's AIG criteria from Japan. So this is very popular, a popular, popular uh, criteria people to use. Uh, to use the damping system, actually, uh, it's, very it's, it's very challenging because you see, uh, this example very famous and the project is called type, is Taipei 101. You know, in Taipei, uh, it's earth earthquake region, seismic load is high. So you try to, you know, keep the building a little bit light to reduce uh, the seismic load. But in the, in the meantime, in Taipei, it's a typhoon region. The wind is also strong too. So you try to control the wind and balance the wind and the seismic. So I think, and the, then the damper used to control the wind, which is really uh, gave the building the feasibility to design the building. <clears throat> also, you can see this become a, a observation site. The people can visit, go to that site, and can visit uh, the tower, the, the TMD on top of the tower. And uh, actually, in this presentation, I want to talk about a little bit about early application here. What's the meaning of the early application? In damping design, when you have the building system, you need to consider at early stage what kind of application you want to use. Is you going to use for TSD or TMD? Do you have the space? And what the target you targeting on for TMD? And uh, what the cost? Are you going to extra cost for TMD or TSD system going to extra cost for you? Or you occupy some space of the building? Or Maybe you can use a structure design just to stiff up the building, and then your design is fine. And uh, this kind of uh, consideration must happen at early design stage. And uh, in damping system, I'm going to present this passive. I'm going to discuss today. It's going to be several different type of uh, TMD and TSD. It's going to be like passive system, passive damping system. The first one is tuned mass dampers. Another is tuned uh, liquid dampers. And the damping system, we have a lot of project done uh, in damping system. The very famous one is like I just introduced Taipei 101. And uh, now uh, in Shanghai Center, they are introduced another TMD, put a, set up a TMD on top of Shanghai Center. It's going to be tallest, heaviest TMD in the world of, as for now. And there are some other uh, project we have installed and uh, designed for on the different buildings. <coughs> uh, this is just some diagram, uh, diagram to show the TMD system. No, it's like you assume this is a tall building, and uh, you have a damper on top of that attached mass. Basically, TMD, TMD, uh, TMD or TSD installed there uh, is going to give you another freedom to, going to balance the wind-induced the, the, the motion. And uh, in this diagram, we show it's kind of a linear system. But a lot of time, uh, we can see we have when we do detailed design. I'm going to discuss a little bit later. Is not going to be linear. You have to consider nonlinear effect. And uh, with TMD system, the uh, uh, supplemental damping system, you need to put 
on top of the building which the motion is most significant, and then you know you can get most benefit from TMD uh, system. Uh, this is, well, this is the only equation I'm going to show in my presentation. Uh, this is basically dynamic linear equation showing the dynamic system here. Typically, when you design the building, we saw you, we saw the TMD, you're going to have a term like mass, uh, damping, stiffness, and the environment force. The environment force could be wind force, and it also can be uh, seismic force. And with adding TMD to this system here, and you adding another TMD force, and this force is going to be related to the motion of the tower. And this is not only displacement, this can be acceleration and the velocity of the motion. And also this is not going to be a linear. When you have an early stage assessment, you can have a linear assumption but when you go into detailed design, I'm going to show you in later, and uh, the system is not going to be a linear. And at RWDI, when we do a lot of many TMD projects, when we do analysis at an early stage, we do some linear interpolation, linear assumption, but when, you go, when we go to detailed design, we have to really look into nonlinear effect during the time history analysis um, wind tunnel data and uh, seismic uh, wind loading data. <coughs> uh, well, uh, this is the, uh, today my discussion is going to have a different type of TMD and TSD, give you the idea how to apply the TMD, what kind of type of TMD and TSD you can use, and what kind of spa spacing requirement, what advantage and the disadvantage. The first one I present is a really simple and the most popular TMD system. Basically, in Shanghai Center, it's using the same system. Uh, would you please run the animation on this, please? No? Yeah, that one, yeah. You will see this is a simple pendulum TMD, which is the, a mass attached to, some to a cable. It's vertically connected to the frame. And when building moves, and then the TMD is going to move to an opposite direction, it's going to drag it, drag by the building motion, which uh, gave you balance force, reduce the building motion here. And uh, you will see here there's a VDD. It's called the viscous damping system. Basically, this this uh, uh, viscous sorry a viscous damping device. This viscous damping device. Uh, basically can reduce, can dissipate the energy from the building motion here. And <clears throat> this is a very simple uh, design, and, uh, but the one thing about this is they require vertical space. Uh, for Shanghai Center or this kind of simple pendulum, you're looking at the vertical space requirement is at 80 meter to 26 meters depends on the building frequency because TMD much match the building frequency. Uh, the single pendulum calculation you can you can do the calculation. This much match building frequency. So simple pendulum can only give you that need that much space to match building frequency to be able to uh, function. Sometimes when you design uh, a building, you might have a limited space. And when you have a limited space, you want to, you, you can, you want to still want to install TMD, you can use a uh, two-stage pendulum uh, TMD. Basically, this is the same mechanism, same uh, idea with a simple, single pendulum, but you can see there's a transform frame which is, has a cable connected to the first stage cable connect to the a frame, and then the frame is going to transfer the load back, and you have a single, another stage of cable connect to the mass. Uh, this single pendulum, this uh, double stage pendulum TMD can reduce the space at least maybe 40%. So basically we are talking about maybe if you had require 25 meter per, uh, space, vertical space, this can, you can use like 15 or 16 meter 
uh, vertical space for TMD. And uh, this also works uh, fine for TMD design. Another one is a lot of this morning the people talk about the TMD, said you know the spacing is critical for time building design. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, RWDI developed this new technique, uh, can use, uh, can even utilize the space, make it even smaller, compact TMD. We call that symbol pendulum with variable restoring force TMD. Uh, this TMD is very unique. You have two mass damper, two mass there, and the blue one is called a uh, is called uh, secondary mass. Uh, the mass here uh, is called prim uh, the gray mass block is called uh, primary primary mass. And uh, the advantage of this, you can see, this can be really compact. Uh, in a smaller space. Uh, would you please show this animation here? I want to show an animation and which uh, you may see the movement of this. Okay. This is basically, you can see there's a cable hanging on the lower mass. There's a column supporting the upper mass. This and these two mass was connect together and they move together. <laughs> because the mass ratio we can adjust, so this can be used to adjust the frequency to match the building frequency. And uh, so this can limit it, can use a very limited space. <clears throat> this is just a simple a diagram showing this uh, idea. So you have a column supporting a secondary mass, and you have a cable hanging a primary mass. Press ma primary mass basically like a, a pendulum. The second supporting mass basically is give a, a negative restore, restoring force. And because of these two mass connect this way, and you can manage to adjust frequency really, you know, within the limited vertical space. And uh, because this is a new uh, design, we we want to go through basically the same idea use TMD, but I will, I will go through a little bit of detail about uh, the, the components in the TMD here. Basically, we can we very discuss different components in the design and give you the idea how this thing work. Basically, we have uh, two mass box, one is upper and one is lower, and uh, you will see the upper one is hanging by cable, and the lower part is supporting by column. And the important thing in this design is the linkage. This two mass was connected with this linkage. Basically, this two mass moving horizontally together, but one is moving up and down. Another one is moving from down to up. Basically, they're moving like, uh, like this way. Like that, basically, is give you a negative restoring force, and this interconnector interconnector connect both uh, mass. You see, this is in our real project design here. This is the connector here. Okay, they connect the upper mass and the lower mass. This is a column supporting. The secondary, secondary mass. Basically, you see that because this this mass moving from from the center to lower part and go upper part, give you the negative restoring force. And the component here, you know, when you design TMD, uh, in order to make it functional, you need a, a very low frequency, a low fr uh, friction, low friction component here. Here is showing that. Supporting, supporting column, supporting column here. And also important is the VDD connection here. You will see the VDD is connecting the primary mass to the building. This creates a dissipation uh, to the building for building energy, for building vibrations.
this is some viscous damping device. This is approved a very popular, and there are several companies in the world uh, manufacture this uh, this kind of device. Uh, it's mature technology. <coughs> but you know, in our design, when we design this, we try to use a non-linear non uh, VDD, and which at the lower wind speed, at a lower return period, like wind, 10 years wind, and uh, one year's wind, we try to let TMD move a little more to be a functional to generate more damping. When you go to earthquake and when the load is high and we, sorry, when the load is high and we try to use the VDD become more stiffer and generate more damping resistant force to reduce the movement under the longer period of earthquake load. In TMD design, one important thing is we consider uh, to, con to, man to adjust the damping for wind loading, and also we have to consider the safety. When we do TMD design, we have to consider some uh, protection, protecting system. It's like in this one, we use uh, this called snubber pin, snubber system to supporting. Basically, when these two mass move together, when you have bigger, displace, bigger displacement under uh, earthquake, and these two mass move together, when they move too far away, this, two, this pin going to touch and prevent mass move at, uh, any further. Uh, this one has absorber there. That's why you know, it's not going to be really hard heat. It's going to be kind of uh, absorbed uh, movement here to keep the TMD within the design space. You don't want the TMD throw away under earthquake. And you will see here, this is the TMD. Uh, this is a snapper system in our design here. So in TMD design, we have you need to consider a lot of different components here. And uh, another uh, another important topic here, uh, I'm going to talk about tuned liquid damper here, uh, TSD. TSD uh, can be used as the same idea. And this morning, uh, there's a presentation talk about TMD we designed for uh, a building in New York, 56 Leon Leonard uh, building in New York. And the TMD, the TSD is very, has very unique advantage because they are they, they, they designed with a sloshing tank. Uh, they, the movement can provide damping of the water, but you have to design the water carefully to, to be able to adjust frequency to match building frequency. The disadvantage is sometimes TSD, like this morning, a presentation about an, the, the building in, uh, in Toronto, they said the TSD require some bigger space, uh, bigger space. And then, you know, back in China now, this is very popular uh, idea because the new Chinese, uh, the building code requires fire tank on top of the building. Very often you receive 300 tons worth of tank, 500 tons worth of tank. Even I, I recently I, I, got a pro I saw a project, they will ask 1,000 tons worth of tank on top of the building. And you know when you have this tank, you can use this tank as TSD. You have to design this, but you have to design this carefully with the space because you know TSD requires certain uh, length and space and the vertical space uh, to match the building frequency. Also, uh, when you do uh, TSD design, you have to uh, think about the, what, the depth of the water. You cannot have shallow water because you know sometimes water is too shallow. You will have nonlinear effect. The vortex is going to affect, and then you will not have a good performance uh, for the TSD. So, uh, in TSD design, also you have to run time history, and uh, we also do when, uh, do some uh, scale test. This is one project we installed the TSD, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, an animation showing the test here. Can you show the animation, please? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a sloshing tank. And uh, okay, we can can close this, and I'm going to show this after. Can you, yeah, turn this off. And also, there's PSD is a sloshing tank. Sometimes, if your building has a really weak direction, you can use a TLCD, which is. Would you please click on this? Uh, this picture, there's an animation here too. Yeah, you can see this is the idea of TLCD, basically. It's basically, you will see the water is sloshing at one direction. This is just for one direction. Sloshing is called uh, water, what uh, tone liquid column uh, dampers. Okay, can close this. Uh, in the building TSD, like I just said, you know we do time history analysis, we do nonlinear analysis, also we do scale test uh, here. This is showing a TSD on top of the building. Uh, before you have the screen like this in the, uh, some design, but uh, in our recent in our design, we found this is only working for one direction, and uh, we, de we design we design the different geometry for the damper for the damping device like the paddles here. You, you can see this is the paddles here. This generate some damping in the water and then create the damping and can be bidirectional. And we, in our test analysis and in our real project, we found this is, uh, we found this is really useful. Uh, can you, this is animation, can you click on this? I just show you this is the test of the water sloshing tank. Yeah, this is the same animation I'm just showing. <clears throat> Here comes the conclusion. In my today's presentation, I showed the different type of TMD and TSD. Uh, as I said earlier, it's really important that we consider the new technique and to be able to improve the building performance and optimize the building design. Uh, implement a TMD in a damping system really can be benefit and uh, mitigate the building induced, uh, the wind induced motion and uh, the acceleration can be reduced by sometimes 40% even more if you design it properly. Uh, every tall building going to have unique characters and must consider carefully. And uh, you have to, at the early stage, you need to consider this carefully, especially when you do wind tunnel test, when you do the design early stage, you need, uh, you need to consider the spacing, you need to consider uh, how to use what kind of TMD or PSD system you can implement in your building. Uh, the assessment should consider a wide range of factors to achieve desired performance. And the careful early stage, like I said several times, early stage design uh, is important for TSD and TMD system. Thank you.